Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Classic Who. So, um, I did want to mention something. There has been a little bit of t talk, a li or I get kind of complaint. I don't know if it, they're really complaints or anything like that. I do know that some of you really want me to not know the titles of stories going into them. Okay, um, I, now I, I do have to say, I, I'm not um, super, I, d I don't know, it's, it's kind of difficult because, you know, the intro of any of these episodes has the title right there, nonetheless, so it's kind of like, I'll, I'm gonna find it out before the episode starts anyway, um, and also kind of the, one of the things <laughs> that's kind of the main problem with it is sometimes I have run particularly with classic who and maybe that will get easier as I go along I, I'm not entirely sure but sometimes I do run into some issues with finding the episodes and um, not just finding them to watch but finding what I can you know use to edit and you know all of this stuff kind of the logistics of everything. And sometimes for that, for something that's aired so long ago, I need the episode title or else I'm not finding it, you know? So um, I just kind of wanted to say that maybe if there is a particular, you know, um, story or whatever uh, that you would, uh, maybe I could figure out or something to maybe remove the episode title and and stuff like that if there's like a really important one or something like that but i you know um i don't know if i'd be able to do that with all of them and and all of that so i just kind of wanted to kind of just explain that my side of that um just because i know that um just in recent uh stories and whatever it's been brought up so i just kind of wanted to to um explain that. All right. I'm excited and to see what this story is going to be about and let's get into it. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is going on? Oh god. Can't even breathe. What a planet. Not long now, soldier. Should have given them independence years ago. Okay. Sir, I got a report. Mark found dead. As usual. I feel like you should have your mask on. Stop scrolling Skybase. What in the world? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Lunch? No. Oh? No, uh -huh. nothing's so exciting. Time Lords? That's right. Aren't you going to open it? I'm not allowed to open it. Huh? The Time Lord? Okay. Open. There's only meant for one person, and or creature. They were only open for one person. And or creature. Yeah, that's right. Well, can't you just refuse? You know, they don't like to meddle, but they're just sending random stuff to... Three line whip. Okay. No. Okay. I'll well, shut up. I'll shut up. Oh goodness, we're really gonna get, we're, um, uh, man, this is gonna be another story without unit. I was gonna say that first scene did not seem like it was really taking place during, like, present day. We're not exactly flying, Joe, we're in planetary orbit. We must be on a... demand that the overlord stop murdering our people. Mutants oh. must be rooted out. They are evil and diseased. Who tells us that? We became slaves! Worse than slaves! No. Murderer! You have nothing else to hunt, so you hunt your own. Oh. So! Is that the fighting stance? <laughs> the marshal wants to see you. Alone. Wait. Uh-oh. Okay. Aren't they, Joe? Great colonists, sir. And you know, Joe. 
once they'd sacked the solar system, they moved on to pastures new. Mm. Solos is one of them, one of the last. Do you ever read Gibbons' The Silent Fall? No, is it good? How do they know who they're supposed to give it to? I guess whoever can open it. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He is just gonna attack? We couldn't have known, but at least when they say emergency. <laughs> My goodness! Okay. You That's right, sir. All part of security, security. Such as we have tonight. Natives and the devil knows who else running amok. But heavens, man, we're not at war with the Salonians. Pulling out? I take it you've been too busy with security to study the latest reports from Earth. We can't afford an empire anymore. Oh? Earth is exhausted, Marshal, finished. There is no proof that my atmospheric experiments have anything at all to do with these mutations. Um... Not on a menace must be wiped out. And that's your alternative to independence. Wow. Nevertheless, they shall have their independence, whether they're ready for it or not. Goodness. My whole career is... Yeah, well, I'm afraid things are going to be a bit tricky for ex-colonial officials. Still don't worry, old chap. We'll find you something. <gasps> we come from Earth. Who sent you? Overlord sent her. The council, you mean? Yes. Oh. Yes, well, obviously it's not for you. This box will only open for the person to whom it was sent. Hmm. We shall see. Stubbs? Sir? You're gonna... Sh they're gonna shoot it. May I suggest that you take it to the conference? It could well be to someone there. Put it. I think there are more important things. Mm. Okay. Well, this is proving to be slightly difficult. You asked for someone in whom we could trust. Yes. Good for her. Um... Okay. This is an Overlord telecast. Well, they get to watch. That's nice. Maybe slightly figure out what's oh, going on. Oh, you yeah, report, you know, the old video. Yeah, that's us. That's us. <laughs> Sorry about that, Stubbs. We have steered you to the verge of disaster. To the verge of independence and stable system of government. Despite, despite I'm not sure that's how actions, they feel. We want freedom and we want it now. Well, if, okay, I don't, okay. Did you think you're going? Open it up, please, sir. What? Can't risk weapons in there, sir. Now it is my duty now. To me, that is kind of fair. Oh, interesting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Wow. That was a lot. <laughs> I warn you, my life is more important than yours. So last night. Oh, can I stop to help you? Come on! Oh, don't you be shooting! Oh! My goodness. But never fear, Doctor. We shall find her. Or her body. Would you kindly explain? That's that, great. That's just daylight, lovely. No we love it. Survive. How poisonous. I give your friend an hour, possibly less, depending on how fast they're traveling. And since the unfortunate assassination of the administrator, Solos is under martial law. My law. How very convenient for you. Mm. Now look, are you going to search for Miss Grant or not? Okay. That depends on you, Doctor. Oh. 
Oh, that's not good. That doesn't seem good. That doesn't seem great. Oh, boy. Oh, God, that really doesn't, that doesn't seem great at all. Oh, oh, no. What is it anyway? Weather control? Or something of the sort? No, tell me, Doctor. What the blaze is going on in here? Oh! Why anyone else interfering with it? But ever you feel like playing some stupid guided tour? Yeah, yeah, that's enough. You give full priority to atmospheric regeneration and yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, moment, yeah, yeah. Oh, sweetie. Oh, she's just not looking that great. Okay. Oh, well, that's nice. Not for that guy, but for her. It's a music little device, isn't it? Works perfectly. I could have guessed that that was gonna happen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then we got that. Oh no, 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 no. What are you gonna kill him to? My Jixie. Others will believe me. Attention, attention. This is the Marshal speaking. That's my problem, not yours. Well, the Salonians, for example, after all, it is their planet. Was, Doctor. It is, Doctor, is it? Wow. But that should hold the proton beam steady. Professor. Damn. And this whole thing is a senseless waste of time. But Joe is still not doing great. Gotta say. Oh boy. Oh, Mama. Mommy. I nearly left you to die. That's nice. Could I perhaps go on this mutt hunt with you? Out of the question. I am sure Doctor has good reason. He'd find it most interesting. The whole atmosphere regeneration project operational within a week. What? He understands particle reversal. Then we must be sure he stays with us. Yes, his assistance the key to that as well. Oh boy. Once my people were farmers and nomads, now look at them. Slaves in factories and mines. Oh boy. Mutts. What happens to them? Well, they are killed. Or if they escape, they hide in places like these. Oh! Oh, was that one of them? Oh boy. Oh boy. Make it easy on yourself. No, much overlord. I am a warrior. Well, I wouldn't hand that back to him. The marshal said he was a mutant. The marshal has murdered my son. Keep that in hiding. Tell the marshal he's been dealt with. I can't move against him openly until I'm sure that Miss Grant is safe. I'll just have to play for time. When can I see her? Cotton? She's receiving oxygen treatment. In a day or so. Left oh boy. Everybody's oh, just man, yeah, feeding lies to everybody. What you're proposing, and do correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. is an all out rocket attack on a defenseless planet. Earth is fighting for its survival. The side effects are of no importance. Genocide is a side effect. This is crazy. The Marshal wants to see you, Professor. Can't it wait? You know the Marshal. Oh, very well. Uh, when can I see you, Cotton? That's it, so you can't. We didn't find her. What? As far as we know, she's still recovered. Okay, I like that we have some some people on on the doctor's side. Sorry, sir. Maybe he changed his mind, sir. Ah. Professor, I've been thinking. Perhaps we could try an experiment uh, just to prove whether I'm right or wrong. Just to keep your eye on that center dial. honest about this story thus far. I don't know how I feel about it. 
Okay, there's some interesting things that I'm curious about for the next, um, you know, few episodes and stuff like that. It's not grabbing my attention as some of the others have in the past, but there are some interesting things to hone in on. Um, what I, you know, when it first started, I, I was kind of seeing that we had, I thought we were going to have more of a, like a conflict between two people and maybe uh, gray areas or whatever, but it seems like this, this one guy is just, um, the worst. <laughs> you know, um, he doesn't seem to be, you know, there's kind of a clear, um, villain, which doesn't always happen in classic Who stories. Sometimes, uh, it's a, it's a little unclear and, and, and everything. Um, so, you know, we've kind of established that and everything. So I, I guess I'm very interested in what the Time Lord's investment in this is and why all of that stuff is kind of pretty interesting. Um, so I'm definitely curious as to, you know, finding out what is in this the box um, and why it's for that specific man or anything, you know, um, I, I find that kind of interesting. Um, I like that they're I, I like that we're seeing um, kind of this relationship between these two overlords, soldier, you know, the ones that were kind of helping out the doctor a little bit and see if, the, you know, how much they will come into play. Um, but I don't, you know, I, I, to be honest, it hasn't completely grabbed my attention. Um, like some others, some other stories have, um, within the first two parts. So I'm quite interested to see where they go with it. I'm interested to sort of see, I, you know, um, to learn a little bit more. We kind of have an idea of what's going on, but I would, I think I would like to learn a little bit more, um, I guess so, more so on the, you know, whatever investment the Time Lords have in this. And, you know, we're at another story where I don't think Unit is going to be a part of it. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I guess my dreams just don't come true. Um, it is interesting. What I will say is it is interesting to see Joe be... A lot more, you know, since the uh, colony in space, where she was a very apprehensive um, about kind of exploring and and leaving the TARDIS and uh, you know all of that stuff. It's you know I I find Joe to be a very very brave companion, um, one of her assets I think. Um, so you know, um, but I do think that it's kind of evolved a little bit that she has a lot of trust in the doctor. Now, I think she always had some type of trust, um, over, you know, spending a little bit of time with him. But I think especially in these life and death situations and kind of, um, situations that I think she, she, she has trust in the doctor, but she also, I think, over time, she's getting maybe slightly more trust in herself with how she's handling situations. I mean, sure, she is impulsive at times, and I mean, we know that. Um, but I, I liked that at least, you know, in the in the beginning of this story, she was kind of like, well, what if you need me? Um, and I do like when companions are, are pretty capable and can help and, and take matters into their their own hands and you know sometimes it sometimes it doesn't work out sure sometimes they they find themselves in more of a mess than they started with true but i i do kind of like that she has this sort of i think there's a genuine care 
for the doctor. She seemed to, whenever he is in any sort of danger, he's she's very worried about him and, and kind of vice versa. You know, he wants to find Joe. And obviously a lot of that is going to be born out of the fact that he, 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 I think the doctor always kind of feels responsible for his companions, people that travel with him and everything like that. But, you know, um, I, I do like that we're kind of seeing her um, be slightly more okay and a lot more kind of, well, just capable in these um, off-world adventures, even though we haven't had a ton of them or anything, um, and just be more okay with um, going. <laughs> Something I would never do. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, um, th there is some interesting stuff and it, I think there is potential for this to be a, a pretty, you know, interesting story going forward. But it, um, if I'm completely honest, the first two parts didn't grab me as much as, you know, some others, um, as of recently. All right. Um. I think that's about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I am just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.